everybody and welcome back to the Average Woman Podcast. I'm that lady, Miss Nicole, coming at you today with another topic that is near and dear to my spirit. So let's get into it. Today we're going to talk about how to keep your daughter off the pole. Parents, please, we got to get our daughters back in order. It's not hard to raise your daughter not to have tattoos and piercings and renegading out here in these streets. It's not hard. It's not hard to keep your son from doing that. But the thing is, is that it's a few things that has to be done in order for this to occur. All right? And we go, I'm going to give you some tips. I'm going to give you some tips because we cannot allow our daughters, we can't continue to allow our daughters to be turning themselves into whores. I don't want my daughter to be single her whole life because she's not able to get a man because I raised her wrong. A lot of you women have to bear that burden for your daughters right now. That's why I don't understand why you fussing, talking about, uh, you fussing at your daughter, talking about, I don't, I don't want to raise no kids. I'm not babysitting. I don't know why. You the one who drove her to living the life she living, and now she living the life she living, you don't want to support her. That's that typical... That's that typical Southern Willie Lynch, I don't want to do nothing for nobody mindset that we love putting on our daughters. You might as well be the babysitter. You facilitated her going out here in these streets sleeping with all these men because you never taught her different. You never encouraged your daughter not to do these things. And even if you did, yo, she lost respect for you because you was doing the same damn thing. You can't ask your daughter to do certain things that you're not doing. She's going to mimic, as the, as the Bible says, as the mother, so is the daughter. Because unless the daughter learns different, the daughter is going to do the same thing that the mother did. And the cycle will continue for generation after generation after generation until one of you women wake the fuck up and do something different. It's a reason why there are no women in your generation. Everybody get down the same way because y'all messed up. Your mama, your grandmama, your aunties, all y'all refuse to see the truth. And no matter how many women around y'all prospering, y'all continue to suffer because y'all continue to live in y'all own mindset that y'all are right and y'all know better than everybody else. But we're going to get into it today. Let's talk about it. The Average Woman Podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll be right back. All right, and we are back, and today we're talking about how to keep our daughter off the pole and out these streets. So it's so important, y'all, that we give our daughters more than what we had. You got to give your daughter that energy that your mom never gave you, that confidence to be a good woman, not a good whore, a thought, a thought, a thought or whatever. You know, you got to, if, if, you, if you wasn't good at math, you need to encourage your daughter to be good at math. If you wasn't on point in school, you need to encourage and support your children being good at school. You understand what I'm saying? And, and well, Miss Nicole, how do you know these things? Because I've seen the work and done the work. I know that if you are consistent with your emotions around your children, they will respect you. They will listen to you. If you... If you be the person that you want them to be, you show them your best version, they're going to show you their best version. And unfortunately, as a step parent, I haven't had as much influence as I would have liked to have in my stepdaughter's life. But the influences that I have had in my, that I have, that she has taken from me, she embraced them and, and has just just flourish beautifully you understand your daughter should go to school you know respect and love her father respect and love her father because if your if your daughter feels good going to school if she feels good coming at home and she feels like she's expressing herself if she's feel like if she feels like she's heard if she has the things that she needs without an argument she's going to flourish 
You understand? But it begins and ends with you. Because a lot of us women are, <clears throat> we're selfish. So it hurts us to see our daughters becoming young women because we didn't get that kind of love when we was growing up. We didn't get the big, beautiful prom dress when we was going to prom and the laid out things. So we always feel some type of way about that. But you got to get out your feelings and look at the bigger picture. When I came here to live with my husband, I was like, okay, he got kids with this lady. You know, I don't know her, but guess what I'm not going to do? I'm not going to be a fool. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to get out my feelings and begin to uh, cause problems for him and this and his for him raising his children. You know, if anything, I'm going to be a part of that. I'm going to show them that despite what you see on TV, women can get along with women. You can you can you can be a part you as a step parent, you can be a part of a co-parenting team between a man and, and, an, and another woman. You can raise your your vibration up from from girl to woman just by understanding how you would feel in that situation. My 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 stepdaughter is going to be wonderful because she has two women, two mothers. <laughs> she gets triple, she gets double, triple love and femininity and all this good stuff. Our men got kids with other women. And for you not to involve yourself and be present for them, why would why would anybody go out their way for you and your kids? You, we've got to we've got to show our daughters how to be women. You are not a woman because you can put on some makeup and lay your lace front. A woman will be known by her works, and if you got the works of a whore, then you're a whore. If your works is fucked up, your works is fucked up. If your works is good, your works is good. You understand? There's no in between ways about that. We've got to show our daughters. See, a lot of y'all don't even know. Y'all have y'all been programmed to be the way that y'all are. Because when you was a little, little girl, you used to watch your mama get dressed up. She put on her good outfit, got her eyelashes done, and put on her makeup and everything. And she go out to she going on out to the club. Because that's the same thing that you do. Everything that you seen your mama do, because you thought that your mama was grown, you do that now. And your mama wasn't grown when she was doing it, and you not doing it. You not grown when you doing it. You not grown because you get out, oh, you you get paid on Friday, and you going out to the club Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. You not grown because you doing that. You not grown because you fucking. You not grown because you fucking. You not. You not grown. That does not make you grown. That doesn't even make you a woman. None of that. Don't nobody care. We 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 get jobs because we need money. We have to make money to live. That's why we get jobs. We get jobs to have money to live. And we have to teach our daughters that. We our our goal in life is not to get a job. Our goal in life is to find a husband and have kids and, and a family. That's how you're gonna be fulfilled and happy. On 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 your on 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 gay on uh, Sundays or Saturdays, we all get together and, and talk to each other and, and and congregate and love one another. That love is what you what you supposed to be chasing, not a dollar. But see, when you have you, we always have to pass shit that don't work down to generation after generation after generation. Well, my mama did it this way, and my grandmama did it this way, and you never think that, damn, I'm fucked up because of this way. Maybe I need, I'm not teaching my daughter that. I'm leaving that in the back. Y'all won't teach the girls the good stuff, whether it's, whether you did it or not. You have the obligation to teach your daughter to do better. Tell her what's right, not what you feel. Even if you know what you're telling her, you ain't doing you tell her the right thing. So at least she has a chance in this world to have something. 
she'll respect you more. I know my, my mama didn't never tell, but at least she told me, don't follow me because I'm fucked up. That's how you should start your conversation. Don't follow me because I'm fucked up. I don't, I don't make the, I don't make good decisions. I'm, I, you know, I know my actions don't speak, don't, don't match my words, but I want you to be better than me because I believe in you. I see your potential, but don't definitely don't be like your mama because your mama, I done ran through too many men and you done see me do too much. (laughs) You done see me do too much. And I know you done see me do too much. So I'm just going to, um. I'm going to just chill because I know I done embarrassed you. I know you done lost all respect for me. But please don't do none of the stuff that I do. Be better than me. You should tell your daughter that. You should tell your son that. You should tell those kids the truth. I fucked up. When I did this, this, and this, that just messed up my whole life. So y'all listen, don't do that. Don't, Don't trap yourself off to that. Do this. Do this. Listen to the Average Woman podcast because she's going to help you out. Do this and do this. That's what you need to tell your girls. You need to tell your girls the truth. That's the only way to keep them out this, these streets. No woman should be out after 10 o'clock. What are, you, what are you doing outside after 10 o'clock? In the streets. Any day of the week. Kids or no kids. It ain't nothing good. I can understand if you got to work because we all got to make our money. I do understand that. I'm not hating on you. But if you're not out here working an honest nine to five or or whatever shift you stop at, what you doing out here in the streets? And and really, I'm not even comfortable with saying you should be working late at night. If you have kids, you should definitely not be working late at night. Definitely. I'm sorry, sir, but I I just can't work. I, I can't do it. That's where your mind need to be. And they'll find another shift for you or the most high will bless you with something better. Because your number one priority is making sure your kids good and yourself. You see how the world is becoming. The world is not safe for women by themselves. I seen a woman on, uh, I saw a woman, her and another lady was walking back to her car. A car pulled up and men jumped out. They had their hands up because it was a straight robbery. Okay. And the man literally just took the food out of the lady's hand. I mean, do you know how aggravating that is? They just walking out the convenience store with the food. She ready to eat her shit. And he just take, rob her right there. And there ain't nobody to come help. After 10 o'clock, you should be in the house. You should tell your daughter that. I don't want you out here to these clubs. It ain't safe no more. You need to give your daughter practical wisdom and knowledge that you don't use. You need to start talking like that and maybe she'll listen to you again and gain you some respect. And maybe you should try to take your own words and apply them. I can't sit here and tell my my stepdaughter, you need to wear skirts. You need to wear skirts. You need to wear skirts. And I don't wear skirts. Why I wear skirts? Because I got a fat ass and fat thighs and a, you know, and my husband, I don't need no problem. So I cover all that up. With my long skirt on every day. Every day. Even when it's hot. Like now. 90 degrees. <laughs> but I keep my skirt on. Because I don't need no problems. If I want to put on some tights or something. I do that around the house around my husband. Because I don't need no problems. And. It's a, a law in the Bible. Tell us. You know. Don't wear pants. We should be covered up. If you have on a skirt every day, you know why men not going to pay you no attention? Because they can't figure out how your curvature is under that skirt. They can't figure that out. So, And if you have on a nice, modest top, they can't figure out. Well, they can figure it out because, I mean, you if you're curvy, you're curvy. You can't help that. You see what I'm saying? So there's no reason for you to put all your assets out there for everybody to see. It's much more respectable to yourself. For you to keep the way your vagina looks to yourself. You ladies love going out here to these uh, clubs and to the workout places and you got to put on practically nothing to work out. I don't understand that. Either you're going to work out or you're going to work out. It don't matter what kind of clothes you got on. You could work out in just about anything. I work out in my skirt all the time. You don't have to put that sexual vibe out there all the time. Some of that stuff you need to keep to yourself. 
keep your bodies to yourself. That's a personal thing. It's a personal thing. You should feel uncomfortable when people looking at all your curves and desiring to touch and feel on you. You should feel, but the problem is you done put an enchantment spell on yourself that you ain't even on that level no more. You sitting up here still tripping to the left, to the left. Instead of trying to get right. You still tripping to the left, to the left and won't get right. But I'm here to help you out because you need to tell your daughter this. Say, I'm, you need to listen to this episode. Send, just let your daughter hear this episode so she'll know where she needs to just don't look at mama as a role model if mama fucked up. Mama, if mama didn't, if your mama didn't treat you good, if you realize that you got a lot of shortcomings because of what your mama didn't teach you, You should be adamant about not passing your bad habits on to your daughter. Why would you want your daughter? You And that's why we get mad at our kids, because our kids remind us of us so much. The same stuff that we do, they do, because we don't tell them not to do it. Because they see us do it, so they think that it's okay. But we need to show by our actions... We need to show by our actions and we need to say it with the words that I don't approve of you doing this. Do it this way. And we need to be consistent with our emotions and learn how to talk to our children without cussing them the fuck out like they some kind of animals. And beating children does not help them. Beating a child does not help them. Cussing a child out does not help them. Embarrassing your child all out in the streets does not help them. The only thing that's going to help your child is by you showing yourself as an example. If you don't want to be like me, don't do this. Because you see I, I'm, you see how I am. If you don't want to be like me, you, you only, you only going to do what you're taught. Because you refuse to learn, and unless you unless you learn something different, you only gonna do what you taught. Period. So if you learn that foolishness routine from your mama, you always gonna have that routine. That same laziness, all that little slick BS your mama let you get away with. Your room dirty, your drawers dirty, you smell funny, all that that stuff. You got these little nasty slick ways about you. Your mouth flip as hell. All that shit you got from your mama and it serves you nothing these days. It serves you nothing these days. You always in your feelings because you you can't keep no job because everything somebody say to you, you take personal like it matters. You learn all these negative bad habits from your mother and you too fool to see that and put that shit aside and be like, I can't fuck with what what she talking about. She going to have me jacked up. I actually need a man to want to fucks with me because I ain't trying to work hard my whole life. I ain't trying to motherfucking be by myself my whole life. So I, I got some good womanly skills for a man that wants a woman. I know how to make him feel like a man. I know how to encourage him. I know how to help him step his game up in a feminine way. I know how to play my part. I know how to, I know that a, a relationship requires 100 100 not 50 50 I'll spend my last dollar on my house and anybody that dwells in my house you can get my last but these people in the street can't because I only work to make sure that we live good I ain't thinking about nobody else you are my priority I show you that with my actions with my finances with everything I'm about I show my house that you are my top priority Fuck everybody else. Show your kids that. If you're not going to show them that, tell your girls to listen to this episode so that they'll hear that. They should be number one. If they don't feel like they number one, you failing. And you making them feel the same way your mama made you feel. And we should fix that. Because we know that that's not right. It ain't right. It, it, it wasn't right for your mom to neglect you and not love you and not teach you the ways of a woman. It wasn't right for her to let you just figure out how to do everything the hard way. And 
it's it's shame on her for making her making you feel like that was optional. There is no other way. There is no other way. I don't I don't believe in giving my do- my my daughter options, multiple options. Life is not multiple option. It doesn't. It, it, there's not multiple options because either you choose right or you choose wrong. And and if you choose wrong, you suffer. If you choose right, you gain. So there is not multiple options. There is only two. And we need to bring that down some. Oh, so and so don't like this. So and so don't like that. So I don't give a damn what so and so like. We're all going to eat this today. <laughs> That's how that works. Not we have multiple options. That's why we make our life so difficult. Because we teach our children before they can even walk or talk to be picky, choosy, hateful, malicious, spiteful, petty, judgmental, this, that. We teach all of them bad habits. And then we wonder why we have such a hard time raising them. There is only one way. The right way. We're going in the right direction. We're going to love one another. We're going to protect one another. We're going to be down for one another. We're going to respect. We're not going to steal from each other. We're not going to do the the incest vibe amongst the family. We're going to take our time and be patient with each other. We're never going to lust or envy each other. You know? I know I repeated some of those kind of the same, but, you know, I had same difference, same tomato. You know what I'm talking about? You know? We forget about that, though. We forget about those things. And I'm telling you, you do yourself a disservice to your daughter when you refuse to acknowledge the pain and, and things that you suffer growing up and, 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 and allow her to go through the same thing. You do her a disservice. And that means you don't love her. I tell my stepdaughter the truth. I tell my sister the truth. Because I don't, I consider my sister like my daughter because... I've been there since day one with her. And my stepdaughter, she's amazing. And I've been with her for 10 years now. And to see to see them young women step their game up, you know, to want to be better, to listen to the advice that I give them and utilize that and, and, and really get out here and shine that, that makes me feel good because I don't want to see them fall in the holes like I fell growing up when I was their age, going through all kind of issues. I'm here to make sure that they have their head screwed all right, that they don't fall and, and take the same bumps and bruises that I took. I'm here to make sure that when it's time, when they falling, I'm there to catch them and give them a little cushion to help them back up. No, 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 you're not going to fall. I'm going to push you up. I'm going to push you up. Because I never had that. A lot of us never had that. We always had to take the loss or feel the hurt or feel the pain because nobody was there to really tell us the truth, help us out, look after us, guide us, keep it real with us. Nobody was there to do that for us, so we had to fall in them holes from time to time. But that don't mean that they have to. That don't mean that we should sit by and allow them to. When we sit there and we do that, we disservice ourselves and, and we don't love our children. Then we get mad when they go out and they have babies young and then we got to take care of their babies because their babies all messed up and all this stuff. But we did that to ourselves, so you should be happy to take care of your, your grandchildren. Your, 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 kids, your kids shouldn't have to pay you to babysit your grandkids. That, that, should, be, that should make your heart spring with laughter and joy because remember, you raised them to be the person that they are. <laughs> but you forget that you raised your kids to be the way that they are but now they don't they not the type that you wanted them to be and you don't think that that's your fault you highly mistaken it's all your fault it's all your fault because you refuse to correct the problems when you saw that they were becoming problems and that's a problem And I'm sorry, as a woman, as a mother, you should love them enough to always tell them the truth. You should love them enough to always tell them the truth. They should be able to rest at night knowing truth. Your daddy didn't leave me. I was just, I was so mean and hateful, I I just ran him off. 
he he just he couldn't do it. And he found out I had slept with his brother James and Timmy Earl. Because, you know, I, I was just doing my thing back then. I didn't mean to. I, I wish I could have took it back. But after after I did that to him, he didn't even look at me the same no more. He was like, he can't trust me to be with me no more. So then I had met this other dude. I met your, your sister, uh, baby daddy. I met your sister daddy. And he reminded me of your daddy. So I went on ahead and started messing with him. But come to find out, he had... Um, he was out here committing robberies in the streets, so he been locked up for he got life in prison. And then after I finished, after he went away, two months after he got sentenced, I left. I stopped messing with him and writing him. I left him to the prison system, and I just went ahead and found your other brother, uh, James' daddy. Now with James, we tried to make that work, but James, he wouldn't. He wouldn't keep a job. We got his, his knee. And then I got two kids, and then he, then me and him, we had little James, and he ain't want to keep a job. So it's all five of us in here. He trying, to, I'm working. We good at the house, but he ain't got no job. He taking care of y'all, taking y'all to school, but that ain't nothing. <laughs> like, that's our story. That shit there. That old retarded shit, like a man, like a, a, a man sitting at home with his kids is like nothing. How is it nothing? When you paying somebody else three, four hundred dollars to watch your kid. When the daddy should be at home with them in the house chilling. And so if, so if you got the job and you, then you the damn brand, when are you taking care of the family? But that still don't mean that you run shit. You should tell your daughter that. Just because you got a job don't make you the boss. You need to learn to share. You got to share with your man if you want him to share with you. If he down, you got to hold him down. Please, daughter, always remember the most high God, he a man. And if he, and if he don't like how you treat his, he, he created our men in his image. So if he created our men in his image, that means that we should be treating our men a certain type of way. The way that God want us to, not how we want to. And that's why we fail. You need to tell your daughter that so she can learn to understand and respect the man so God can bless her works. Because if y'all out here dogging these men, that's why you're bald headed. That's why you smell funny. That's why you look funny. That's why your confidence level low. That's why you're always depressed because you don't believe in nothing. You don't respect nothing and you don't honor nothing. You need to tell your daughter that. And you need to remember that. You ain't honoring nothing. And that's why you failing. And that's why ain't no man going to buy into this bullshit. They're not going to buy into how cute you think you are with your baby doll and your filters and shit. They don't care about that. What they care about is at the end of the day, if I put a child in you, can I help you raise our child? Will you, will you tell my child that I'm a good man and to respect me and to love me? Will you take my child from me and take my child and have them stressed out, hungry, and in danger because I'm not around to protect them? Will you do me that way? That's what he want to know. That's what he want to know. And, and you can't even guarantee him that. You can't guarantee him anything because you emotional. You don't really give a fuck about nothing. And at the end of the day, you're going to do what you want to do, not what's right. You're going to say what you want to say, not say what's right. You could do and be anything you want to be. That's a fucking lie. All our lives have been already predestined. You either going to do right or you're going to do wrong and you need to teach your daughter that and it ain't no multiple ways it ain't no it's right or wrong and if you wrong you wrong you wrong if you put a wig on your daughter at a young age and don't teach her how to grow her hair how to paint her own fingernails how to nurture and keep her body and self clean how to cover herself up and have some modesty about herself, how to have some dignity about herself, 
how the teacher is important for her to get an education, you are wrong and you are not serving her anything. But you can't give her nothing because you're still trying to grow up because you are the Peter Pan, the girl, the woman, the, I don't even know what the hell to call you. You just ain't going to grow up. But you don't want to hear from no woman because you can't stand for nobody to check that shit. But that's why I'm here checking you. You can't say you ain't never heard it because it's here. It's here. We owe it to our girls to do better by them. To stop allowing our women to fall in the same holes that we fell into. The reason why we don't feel good about ourselves because we didn't put in no good works to feel good about ourselves. When we look at ourselves in the mirror, we look, we look at ourselves and we like, damn, I look old and beat out. Because we don't feel good about ourselves because we don't have no good works. We don't have no good works. Most high not rocking with us because we've been, we've been real bad. We've been real bad. We've been accusing people of all kind of stuff. You see, Paul R. Kelly done got 30 years just because just cause somebody felt some type of way. But you forget to acknowledge the shit that you do. When, what was this little girl, what was these little girls, how did y'all get over to the R. Kelly house? Why y'all jumping in through R. Kelly? R. Kelly is a grown man. Y'all jumping in this, y'all in this window, y'all hanging out. And then you wait all this time. I remember those tapes and all that stuff was out in like the 90s. Everybody knew R. Kelly was a freak. Everybody knew that. But then all of a sudden, now it's like Janice Dickinson, Janice Dickinson and Bill Cosby. Now all of a sudden, Janice Dickinson, the, the, the druggie. I mean, have you ever seen Janice Dickinson sober? She, she's, she, you don't have to, you don't nobody have to, to take vagina from a, 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 a woman that's loose. You don't have to take it from her. She gonna give it to you. She easy like a Sunday morning. And you need to tell your daughter that. You don't have to, don't, ain't nobody gonna, ain't nobody gonna never take nothing from you because you give it away with a cashback coupon. And just because you have regrets after you've given it away, that does not make it unconsensual, baby. Just because you feel guilty because you gave it up, that does not mean that you can hide behind, oh, uh, it wasn't consensual. Yes, it was. It was totally consensual because you got down with it. You was there. You knew what it was when you showed up, and you was with it. See, but you, you ladies don't want to be held accountable for nothing. And I understand. I understand. You don't want to be held accountable for that shit because that is it's crazy to be able to admit that, right? Yeah, but we need to say it. Just because you have regrets for the shit that you do don't mean that you can change it into something that is not. That's just wicked. And it's a punishment to be paid for that. I told you, we women, y'all should be super afraid. You should be super afraid. First of all, you should read the book of Isaiah 30. I believe Isaiah 34, where, you know, the judgment for the daughters of Zion that are haughty and walk with stretched necks. (laughs) Just <laughs> walk with stretch next. Okay? You need to, to read that and see what the what the what the punishment is from the most high for women who behave that way. You need to read that to your daughter. I'm gonna put what it is. I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the uh the Bible verse in the description for this one. But you need to remember the daughters that walk with hearty stretch next, there's a price to pay for you ignoring the truth and not acknowledging the truth to help your daughter be better. It's a price to pay, and you have to watch her pay that price. And if you love your daughter, if you love your daughter the way that you say you do, you wouldn't do her all kind of ways. You would give her the knowledge that she needs to be successful if you really loved her. And with that, I say shalom. Shalom.